In this video, we're gonna talk about the five things that you must know before moving to Punta Gorda, Florida. So stay tuned. What's up, it's German, we're Hernandez, you're coming to you from sunny Southwest Florida. If this is your first time visiting this channel, you wanna know everything about Southwest Florida? Well, we do tons and tons of videos about everything you need to know. So make sure you hit the subscribe button, you hit the notification bell, so you get notified every time a new video gets dropped. Honestly, we're getting tons of calls of people that are looking to move or relocate to the area, and we absolutely love it. So if you're looking to move or relocate to the area, make sure you call us, text us, email us, or even send a smoke signal so you get notified every time a new video gets dropped. We have your back when moving to sunny Southwest Florida. Number one, Puerto Gorda has a small town, quiet feel to it. The people are welcoming and friendly. Customer service is great. People overall love to come together and work things out in the community. So you definitely want to check out Punta Gorda if you're looking for that small town quiet feel. Let's move on to number two and we're going to talk about the weather. That's right. Now, like most places in Florida, Punta Gorda is going to be hot most of the year, right? So you're looking at an average temperature of somewhere in the mid to high 80 degree Fahrenheit range. Now, obviously during the winter months, that's gonna drop a couple of degrees, somewhere around the 10 degree Fahrenheit range. But most of the year is gonna be hot, it's gonna be humid, right? So if you're tired of the cold, you're tired of the snow, you definitely wanna check out Punta Gorda and just keep in mind that there's plenty of sunshine and you can always take a dip in the pool or head out to any of the nearby beaches such as Boca Grande or Siesta Key. So definitely no all about that warm weather in Punta Gorda. Let's move on to number three, and we're gonna talk about the traffic. So for most of the year, traffic is not that heavy. Now for the months of January to about April, the traffic definitely gets heavier. And that's because a lot of people from outside of the area head over to Punta Gorda to vacation, visit family, just hang out, right? So during those times of the year, or at least during that time of the year, January to about April, the traffic definitely gets heavier. And if you're gonna go out to any of the local restaurants, which Punta Gorda has plenty of restaurants. Last time I checked, they had about 50, 60 restaurants, independently owned restaurants. Well, most of these restaurants are definitely gonna be packed during the months of January to about April. So you definitely wanna call ahead and make your reservations. All right, so let's move on to number four. If you're all about that fishing lifestyle or even just kayaking or paddle boarding, right? You definitely want to check out Punta Gorda. At one point, it was actually called a sportsman's paradise. There's tons and tons of opportunity to catch all types of fish, right? So you have grouper, barracuda, tarpon, redfish, right? I mean, there's sharks there that you can see. I mean, all kinds of fishes are on the Charlotte Harbor, which is brackish water, right? So you have water coming from the Gulf of Mexico and from some of the rivers and mix it in, and it makes it a huge, very important ecological breeding ground for many of these fishes. But definitely back to the aspect of being able to catch all these different types of fishes is great, right? For those of you that love to fish. Now keep in mind, if you wanna be able to grab hundreds of pounds of fish, well, Punta Gorda is definitely a spot you wanna check out, or if you just wanna go ahead and kayak and paddleboard and just check out the beautiful views, well, Punta Gorda may be the spot for you. Last but not least, number five, and we're gonna talk about Punta Gorda's location. It's centrally located between Sarasota in the north and Fort Myers in the south. Now, let's say you wanna check out the major theme parks in the state of Florida. Well, Punta Gorda is only a few hours away from Miami, Tampa, and Orlando. The same thing with the major professional sporting teams, right, in the state of Florida. Now, if you're into golf access, right, getting out to the Gulf of Mexico, well, Punta Gorda has plenty of homes, right, that have access to the Gulf of Mexico. Now keep in mind, Punta Gorda also has downtown Punta Gorda, it has Fisherman's Village, 
Harbor Walk. Plenty of things to do in Punta Gorda. You just have to keep in mind that if you want to do some of the things that you will find in the major cities in Florida, you just have to travel a couple of hours to be able to do those things. But definitely there are things to do in Punta Gorda. Just got to do some research, right? And check out the local events that they have every week. Even on Saturdays, right? They usually have a farmer's market in Punta Gorda. So something you may want to check out if you're into that. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember, if you're looking to move or relocate to sunny Southwest Florida, Please call us, text us, email us, or send a smoke signal to get a hold of us because we have your back when moving to sunny Southwest Florida. Take it easy.